Hi friends, it's Val here, and I'm back to show you another box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child. I've had my uh, shoebox packing stash um, put away in closets for the past few days because I had house guests, but I was so happy to bring everything out again and pack a shoebox today. So I'm going to show you what I packed for a child, a girl, in the age range of two to four, and my box has a Disney Princess uh, Snow White theme. And I used a plastic um, Operation Christmas Child box, and it's pretty full. Um, I will add rubber bands to hold that down in the middle. Um, I wanted to put so much more in this box than I was able to. Um, to get in and get the lid on but let me show you what I packed so when she opens the box she will see that I decorated the lid um, I just put images of Snow White um, on the lid and added the saying sing a joyful song with sticker letters um, it looks like Snow White in this image, and these two are actually the same, but you can see her holding a bird here. It looks like she's singing to the bird, the little blue jay, um, blue bird, actually. And so um, I thought that would be a cute thing to say on the lid. So right on top, she will see her play mat. I make these, I use scrapbook paper, I cut the scrapbook paper in half, I laminate each piece, then I lay them down and tape them in the middle so that they fold that way and that way. So when they lay on the pretty side, the child on the floor or the ground, the child would have a flat, um, clean surface to play on. Um, puzzles, card games, um, coloring sheets. And then on the flip side, it's just white. And because it's laminated, it serves as dry erase. And so the child can practice writing or drawing um, over and over again. And I have dry erase markers and a dry erase eraser packed in the box. And I've started, I'm a scrapbooker and I have tons of scrapbook paper just tons so I have started making these and including these in every box I mean they're so flat they take up no room I like to put them at the bottom of the box but these plastic boxes um, are narrower at the bottom so I couldn't make it fit other place so I just laid it right just right on top so that's my play mat And this is a tree and it has apples in it, letters too, but in an owl. But um, Snow White, uh, the forest is a big part of the Snow White story. So I thought this would be cute in this box. And the apples are a really big part of the Snow White story as well. So I'll take the coloring book out first. Um, this is a Snow White coloring book. Um, I ordered it from Amazon. It has very cute pictures to color of Snow White, of the Snow White story. The wishing well, the seven dwarfs, the forest animals, singing and dancing with Dopey and Happy. Um, it's just a real cute, real cute coloring book. She has a tote bag. Just an ordinary, plain colored, red tote bag, backpack, drawstring tote bag to take her things home in. She has a couple pairs of socks. This, this pair says, oh, what fun. Pretty sure I got that on Christmas clearance at Target, I think. This pair has hearts on it. It's kind of like scalloped at the top. Real cute. She has a couple pairs of underwear, not Snow White, but it is Disney. <laughs> she has two different sizes. This is size six, frozen. And this is size four. It has 
Mulan, Moana, and Cinderella. She has a red headband with a bow on it because, um, well, as you can see, Snow White wears a red headband and bow in her hair. So, this, actually, I, this is the second Snow White box that I packed, and I had a really nice one-piece headband bow that was red, and I packed it in that other box. So I improvised on this one and just used a plain and ordinary red headband and then added a red like bow clip, um, just clipped it on there. And it's great because the bow actually has four loops. So it doesn't look like the bow is sideways. You know, when she puts it on like that, it looks like the bow is, is on right side up. I think that she'll like that. Um, I have a Snow White puzzle. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's 48 pieces. It came in a square box, and the pieces were inside a sealed plastic bag. I took those, I opened those, um, and put them in this snack baggie with an enclose, with a, you know, a Ziploc enclosure so that the child will have some place to put the pieces, um, when she's done with the puzzle. And then I cut the, the top of the, the box out and included that in the baggie as well so she can see that it's, you know, a puzzle and what the image is on the puzzle. And she has a cup. I wanted to put a bowl in this box too, but I just couldn't make it fit. This is the star of the show. It's a Snow White doll. This is called a topsy-turvy doll. My daughter had one of these when she was little. She dressed up as Snow White, and I have always loved it. And I had this idea to include one in my box. And so I went on, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember if it's Etsy or eBay, but I found one, and this is called a topsy-turvy doll. This is Snow White, and she has seven pockets, and inside each pocket is one of the dwarves, um, it's cloth and the little dwarf the little dwarves of the seven dwarves are also um, cloth and stitched and she's really cute and she's cute this way but when she flips over she's also cute it's the queen that turns into the old lady that gives her the poisonous apple but I took the apple off because I thought it was a choking hazard anyway and I think the child will just see this as an old woman. Um, and I think she's cute even. She has a real pretty dress on. Um, the glasses, I checked, and they're stitched in there right under the, the hair. And I don't see them as a choking hazard. Um, so she's real cute. And I think the child will probably prefer the cute girl, the, the Snow White. And she can... Hug and love Snow White. Love that doll. She has a fork and a spoon. Disney princesses. I got these at the Dollar Tree in the baby section. And Snow White is on the fork right up at the top. And the other Disney princesses are also on there. She has a pair of scissors. Um, these scissors were donated to me. Um, by a friend, um, a re recently retired art teacher. She gave me so many things, stickers, scissors, um, really cute notepads, um, shoe boxes, scrapbook paper. Um, so shout out to Patty. Thank you, dear friend. This is a little Thai beanie baby boo from McDonald's. This is Snow White's forest friend, a little deer. She has a pink eraser, Ticonderoga eraser for school when she starts. A pencil sharpener, pink pencil sharpener. And inside the pencil sharpener, it's an enclosed sharpener. I tucked away a cross necklace. I get these at Hobby Lobby. I love them. 
and try to include them in just about every box. <laughs> she also has this little Snow White container, purple container with Snow White's image on it. And in here I tucked, I'm pretty sure I got these like after Easter clearance or maybe after Christmas um, in a multi-pack with other Disney princesses. So in this I stuffed red beads. Here's one of the notepads that my art teacher friend gave me. It's really cute. It's Crayola. Um, it has, you know, crayons on the top. She can uh, use this to write and draw and stick her stickers on. Real cute. Several pieces in the paper pad. So she has some crayons. To go along with her um, dry erase um, mat that I made, I included some dry erase pens, a green, a black, and a purple, and also a dry erase eraser. Perfect condition. My art teacher friend donated this to me. She gave me several with little animals on it. Very cute. This one has a bear on it. So she can easily wipe away the dry erase so that she can just start over and draw and write again. And I put, I just put all of that together. I wrote dry erase on here. So that along with the note that I put on the play mat, I think will help the child or whoever is supervising the child to understand what all of that is to be used for. She has a couple of bracelets heart-shaped bracelets, purple and blue. She has a toothbrush. Um, just like kind of, kind of like a pink camo. Pretty sure I got that at the Dollar Tree. And she has a, a cap on the toothbrush. She has a really nice hairbrush with a beautiful image of Snow White on it. Um, it's... I guess uh, the size of brush that I would normally include in an older girl box, but it's possible that this little girl will have very long hair and will appreciate having that nice big brush. And I also have for her a bar of soap. This soap came in a box and it had a strong scent. So I took it out of the box and I put it in a baggie and then I put it in another bag and sealed it. So it's double bagged and there's a few band-aids in there as well. She has a note and a photo of my family and a note to the child. Um, I always stick a little sticky on the envelope that says, note to child only, no money inside. Please remove this sticky note from the envelope at PC. She has this, I don't know if I should call it a dress or a nightgown, and I'll tell you the story behind this dress. I ordered it from walmart.com, and when I got it in, delivered, I was really disappointed. First of all, it was listed as a dress, but when I got it, it's real thin material, just like kind of that nightgowny type material. So I thought, well, that's okay. The little girl can use it for a nightgown or however she'd like to wear it is fine. Um, but then the second thing was it was listed as not size 7-8, but age 7-8. Um, but I thought it looked too small for a 7 or 8-year-old. I don't know if you can really tell. But I thought it would be perfect for a two to four year old. So I'm packing it in the two to four year old box. I have the idea that it's a nightgown. but um, And then the third thing that really disappointed me. Okay, this is Snow, Snow White, right? Well, down at the bottom, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. The C is covered up, but it says Cinderella. But I'm packing it anyway because the child won't really know and I think the child will love it. So that's my Cinderella dress.
slash nightgown. She also has a washcloth. She has not a pencil pack, but I found these after Easter. I think they were like 10 cents a piece at my local grocery store. And I think what they were meant to be was for like a table setting, like a napkin and then the flatware. But I bought a bunch of them and I've been using them in my younger kids' boxes instead of a pen, uh, pencil pouch just to stick in their pencils. Um, this one has two regular Ticonderoga, two fat Ticonderoga, and then a real uh, um, cute Easter pencil that has like bunny erasers on it, on the pencil. I stuck that in there. And then two pens that are clicky so that there's no cap to be a hazard for a younger child. It has a little um, embroidered Easter egg on it. It's real cute. This is just made of felt. Real thin, sewed along the edges so that you can stick, you know, the pencils and pens inside. On some of them, I, be, I have even st stuck in the, the scissors, but I couldn't quite make that fit. So that is the pencils. Last but not least, she has a notebook from the Dollar Tree, just lined, you know, smaller, but lined paper. So she can practice her writing and she can also draw in it. I thought that um, this, along with that cute Crayola notepad, would be plenty of paper for the child. And oh, I also stuck in here, this is the kind that has, um, what well, has one pocket, one in the middle. I stuck in some um, stickers. So she has several varieties, Easter stickers, Paw Patrol, Centos, and Doodle for Google. My art teacher friend also donated a bunch of stickers to me and this was one of the sheets she gave me. I just love them. I think they're adorable. Doodle for Google. And so that completes this box. Um, like I said, there were so many more things I wanted to put in this box and I couldn't make it work. I wanted to put a Snow White little golden book in, but these plastic boxes are shaped different and it's hard to put those little golden books in a plastic box. And I could have gone to a cardboard box, but I had already decorated the lid. <laughs> so I stuck with this one. I wanted to put a bowl in that matched this cup and I could not make that fit. Um, I wanted, I put in the little forest, the little deer for a forest animal friend, but I also wanted to put in a bunny and a bluebird, but I couldn't make them fit. So this is the one that I chose. So I hope you enjoyed watching uh, my unboxing of this Snow White box for a little girl two to four and if you enjoyed watching, um, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you wish, and I'd love to see any comments, suggestions, ideas. I really enjoy uh, reading those comments. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.